Hey guys, Spud here, and it looks like I done goofed on the Cult Start tutorial for the DCS F4U 1D Corsair when it comes to describing the operation of the wing folding mechanism here in the Corsair, and I wanted to issue a correction video to reduce as much confusion as possible as you guys start to read through Magnitude 3's Early Access Guide and any of the real-life VOT F4U Corsair flight manuals that are out there. So let's jump in the cockpit here and keep this video nice and short and sweet. The mistake that I made in the video is I had said that you need to have the wing fold uh, mechanism handle in the neutral position here, as opposed to the forward spread position during flight. And in the heat of battle of making the video, I misinterpreted this uh, very obvious warning sign here that says wing fold handle must always be in the spread position during flight. And of course, one thing that I also missed and uh, neglected to tell you guys about in that tutorial video is while you can definitely unfold the wings while the aircraft engine is not running, you can actually speed up this process and rather than having the wings fall under their own weight and pushing against the hydraulic pressure of the hydraulic system, you can use this hand pump handle here to actually speed up the process and add more pressure to the hydraulic system. So by clicking on this handle, we can see it speeds up the process of the wings unfolding a little bit. And if we click it again, it goes again, and again, and again, until we get the wing fold flags completely flush with the wings of the aircraft. and the indicator flag is sucked back into the wing of the aircraft, at which point we can then lock the wings and we are good to go. And of course your check is if you have the battery on and the wings are unlocked, you're gonna get that very annoying buzzer alarm, which will definitely make you think twice about taxiing or take off. So that is basically the correction to the video itself. We always want to be flying with the wing fold mechanism in the forward spread position. Now, why did I make this mistake in the first place? Well, when it comes to the arrestor hook um, actuator handle on the right hand side of the cockpit, you can of course have the arrestor hook in the down position as well as the up position in the aft position here. However, when you have the arrestor hook handle in the neutral position, it will isolate the hydraulic pressure to the tail wheel, which means that you're more impervious or at least your hydraulic system is a little more protected from battle damage because that part of the system is isolated. So if you get a bullet shot through the hydraulic system in your tail hook, then you're not going to be bleeding out all of your hydraulic fluid over the tail hook or the system that controls the tail hook in the back of the aircraft. Um, however, this is not true of the wing folding mechanism on the left side of the cockpit and you always want to have that forward in the spread position. And I guess the reason why I thought it should also be in the, in the neutral position is again something that my grandfather had told me about the hydraulic system of the Corsair a long time ago. So after reading about the arrestor hook and its isolation valve and the ability to limit any potential hydraulic system battle damage uh, issues, I also kind of thought the same thing about the uh, wing fold mechanism and of course I did not heed the advice of the warning label here as I was making the video and deep in the trenches creating that video for you guys. So again, apologize for that uh, uh, incorrect statement about the uh, cold start procedure of the F4U1D. And again, apologies for omit omitting the uh, little tidbit about the um, hydraulic hand pump here that can make the uh, wing unfolding process go a bit quicker for you guys without hydraulic pressure from the engine. But 
such is life and i'm definitely not perfect i'm a human being so i uh, hope this helps you guys out and reduces some confusion out there so thanks for watching guys and we'll see you in the next one enjoy this beautiful game and I sure love this airfield. This airfield is my favorite on the World War II Marianas map because it is just so emblematic of an airfield on a far-flung island in the Western Pacific, buried deep in the jungle. And I absolutely love it. So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.